Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Oyev Gajo. Welcome back to the channel. And it has been a while since I've done a video, so I decided to get my arms back on FIFA 14 and uh, build a little team for you guys. It's not overly expensive, it's going to cost you around 17k. Um, I'll try to just try and get a squad builder out as I'm still banned on my main account, so I really can't do much. Um, but I've just put together this good little team that I did win at 10 0 earlier with. Um, so it plays very, very well, in my opinion, and um, is very, very cheap as well. So, formation you're going to want to have is a 4 triple 2 formation, which is probably one of the best formations in game, uh, as it has the two cams and the two strikers. So, in, in, sorry, in there, we're going to have Buffon. Uh, he's not the best keeper. Um, overall, to be honest, uh, you could go with Handanovic, but to get the chemistry, I went with Buffon. And in the centre back position, I'm going to go with Cellini. And to finish off the second centre back position, I am going to go with. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Uh, I went with Cellini on this side. Um, so that's the way you're going to want to have the defenders. Into the left back position, we're going to have Gail Clichy. And in the right back position, we're going to have Abati. Uh, so as you can see there, they're so very solid defenders. I quite like Koscielny and I like I very like Cellini because he's got good pace and he's very very strong. In CDM we're going to have Marquisio and we are going to have Ramirez. And uh, you may be like, why are you not using Pogba? You'll see in a minute just to get the chemistry link up. But if you use Ramirez, you know what he's like. He's he's pretty sweaty, especially with the 88 pace, and he does have very good overall stats and he does get the highest like rating in game for me. So moving into the first cam, we're going to use Samir Nasri. And um, it's so easy to get past players with Nasri, especially with uh, his four-star skills and stuff. And he's got a very good shot on him as well. And um, he's good at finesse shots, I must admit. And um, yeah. Into the second camp position, we're going to go with Giovinco, uh, especially with a 91 pace. Uh, at the last game, uh, I actually thought he had four-star skills, so I was like just pissing around with the skills. And uh, he wasn't really doing much, he just kind of seemed to dribble the ball. But yeah, he is very, very small. Uh, he does get knocked off the ball very, very easily. But he's got an alright shot, he's got very good pace and very good dribbling, and he's not overly expensive. So, going into the striker role on this side, guys, we are going to go with Vucinic. Now, you may be thinking, why Vucinic? Well, I need to tell you something. Vucinic is definitely one of my favourite players that I have used in my FUT14 experience. He's very, very cheap and you do get what you pay for. You know, you may be put off by his pace or his passing or his heading, but to be honest, his pace is very, very good, to be honest. His dribbling's good and his shot is just so powerful it's just such a good shot on him and uh, his heading's decent as well so you can score corners with him and i really like Vucinic so to finish off the team guys we are going to go with his um, national teammate which is Stefan Jovetic and now you can see why he's uh, Ramirez there but Stefan Jovetic also has four star skills he's cheap as well he's got good stats he's got 81 pace 87 dribbling you know and he's also got good heading as well so you can score corners with him so that's the team guys i'm going to get into the game i'll catch you guys over there so this is the team i came up against guys and i was really really surprised because i'm in a low division because i'm on this new account because of banned all that bullshit have you seen the video and yeah so i was really surprised to come up against something like this but i did concede very very early into the game as you can see there quickly uh i conceded three minutes in which kind of sucked um but um this match was insane and i'm not live coming i've just like taking all the good bits, taking all the goals, all the, the misses and stuff. But he does concede a free kick. Uh, he gives me a free kick here. Just, I, I don't know how far it is. 27 yards, there we are. And uh, so it's just seeing who had the best free kick accuracy. Then absolutely smash one with Samir Nasri into the left side of the goal. And, you know, I don't... I'm quite good at free kicks, but it's not often the score. I'm like, I know the technique that's involved and stuff. Uh, but I'm a very, very big fan of Marquisio, as you can see here. He's very, very skillful. He's got good dribbling. Uh, the only thing that does kind of annoy me about him is he's left-footed. But sometimes it's fun cutting in with him. But look at here. Samir Nasri, he's just been so much fun. He's definitely been one of my favourite players in the team. And at the end of the video, uh, I'll be telling you who was my favourite player in the team. And who I think, well, yeah. Who I think performed the best, and yeah, I absolutely um, love this team, honestly. And as you can see here, cut it in with Marquisio, and uh, unfortunately, that did not go in, but it was still a uh, good play nonetheless. And right here, 
he does give me a penalty and um, yeah the ref is pretty pissed off as you can see there no big boy you no penalty today fuck you and yeah so he gets yellow carded he does not get a straight red which I suppose is alright in him and yeah so I put Jovetic in the penalty just because I thought he was going to have the best penalties and as you can see there yeah he does have pretty good penalties but unfortunately he saved it, but what can you do? And he took his Vertonghen off, obviously, quite right. And then Jovinko, oh my god, the pace, the shot, the sweat. He's so good, man. He's just insane. Uh, so, yeah, I did the same here with Marquisio, as you can see here. He's very, very fast as well, and what happens? He gives me another penalty. This is my second penalty in, I think, about 5, 10 minutes of actual game time. And then he gets a straight red. So I stick Jovetic again and I absolutely smash it into the top of the net. Straight down the middle. And that's Jovetic's uh, second goal or something like that. And um, yeah, Clichy was so good as well. And I was skilling about with him as well. I was kind of surprised that uh, I was skilling about with him. But unfortunately he didn't score that. But then comes along Jovinko for fuck's sake. The sweaty wee bam. And he scores. And this was just before half time, just before the whistle went. And then Jovetic sticks his heat on that. And bang, I think that's 6 1 now. And uh, and I do get a last minute free kick into the, the last bit of uh, first half. And here are the half time stats. I was clearly all over him. And you can just pause it back there. I didn't get enough footage of that. But it got worse for him as from the kickoff as I stick one into the back of the net with Vucinic. And Vucinic was just insane as well. I enjoyed him so much. And I'm definitely, definitely going to use this team on FIFA 15 if I can build it once more. But I have no idea what I tried to do there. <laughs> I just have no idea. But this was very stupid. You know, just never do that. Please, just don't be stupid and bring out your keeper like that. It's just it's just stupid. But then I absolutely smash one with Javinko again. He was so good. Honestly, definitely one of my favourite players in the game after all these. And uh, I cut it in with Clichy. Unfortunately, did not finish again. But at this point, when I scored again to make it 10-2 or 10-3 or something like that, I was feeling genuinely sorry for the guy. But as... That happens. I put the guy to rest, and you know I've got a lot. Of, uh, I've got a lot of respect for the guy because he stayed till the 90th minute. He stayed all the way through, which something. If I was losing that badly, I would not do. I would probably have went through half a dozen controllers for the one match. But there was full time, guys. Honestly, one of the best teams I've ever used, and the best player in the team was definitely Javinko. As you can see, he got a couple of goals himself, and yeah, I love this team. Uh, it's absolutely insane. I'm definitely going to build some more teams like this, you know, the very cheap teams, the very sweaty teams. But that is the team, guys. I won 11-3. And uh, if you want to see more of these things, make sure to drop a comment below. Make sure to leave a like as well. Until next time, guys, my name is Oliver Gadro. Hopefully, we can hit out 10 likes on this video. And I'll catch you next time.